Do you feel like a baby sucking your face? It feels more like a dog <laughs> who's kind of, or like a cat who's like, mmm, getting in there. <laughs> it's, really, it's a really snuggly That's feeling. Nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you can just get really in there. <laughs> Hey, Chad. Hey, Pepin. Who's this? Crystal, hi. Hi. What's up? <laughs> Thanks for having me. My name is Crystal. I'm the director of product design at Little Bits, a company you may have heard of. We make modular electronics where you can invent anything. And I'm a longtime friend of Pepin and Ted's. We're going to show Little Bits here if you haven't seen it before. <laughs> here. And over here. Yeah. And one down here. A little bit there. Uh, we asked you to, to be on this, yeah. on this show. Mm -hmm. And then you had this idea of like, well, we should tear down something that's not like a Google Home or yeah. a, a tech product. I believe yeah. you referred to the Sorry. things that we tear down as bro -y, Sorry. Which I <laughs> agree. There's like, it's yes. all tech, tech bro -y stuff. True. Internet connected X yeah. toy. So what are some examples of things <laughs> that we actually need in our yeah. lives? Yeah, and it was inspired actually by my sister, Glorianne. Glorianne. Hey, Glorianne. She recently, Glorianne. yes, she recently had a baby last year. Theo, that's his name. Oh, um, now, oh that's, that's your name. <laughs> that's my name. <laughs> but now when we hang out, a lot of times she's pumping. Wait, and we'll just be sitting. Like bicycle pumping? <laughs> no, breast pumping. Okay, breast, breast pumping. pumping. Breast pumping. But she spends so much time with this device. And so we have one here. This is... Spectra. It's baby pink. And so this, and so what, what is the other part of it? That oh yeah, this is this the more is important the... part. There's two of these for obvious reasons. But this tube plugs into here, and this is the pump. Like this is where all of the action happens. Mm -hmm. And then it draws a vacuum down this tube into this diaphragm. Mm -hmm. okay. And then this diaphragm pulls back, which then creates a vacuum here, which draws in the nipple and basically milks the breast and then that drips down through this duct valve here mm -hmm. into this reservoir. And the reason why you have a check valve there is so that when this is drawing air, it pulls from there and not up there. Got hmm. it, so milk can't go back into the diaphragm. There's two kinds of breast pumps. There's open and closed systems. Um, the closed ones are considered more hygienic. They're the ones with this diaphragm here. How much was this and how much are they in the, in the market? Under Obamacare, mm -hmm. these are subsidized by insurance, so uh, yeah. they'll pay for one. Audience. But I think my sister's altogether was like two to three hundred dollars. Wow. It was a lot. And I've seen it's there's the lot. Willow. Yep, Willow um, and a cool which new is one. Four or five hundred dollars. Four or five hundred dollars. <laughs> can we um, can we fire this up? Yeah. yeah. I oh, hold this under the table. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I kinda like it. It has like a retro cord? telephone look. It does. It's kind of like Hello. <laughs> plug it in. Yeah. And we plug this in here. There's normally two here, but there's a little stopper here in case you want to do one at a time. Uh, there's a little button here and you just push that and away it goes. Whoa. This is incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. The way the material is flexing, it looks like liquid almost. Wow. It's really impressive. Whenever we think about biomimicry, we think of stuff that looks like leaves and, and like, like plants, plants and animals yeah. and yeah. very Humans organic. Are animals. Right. But like biomimicry can also be this where That's you're true. measuring something that a human does and then trying to replicate it. Wait, before we tear it down, this yes. is my favorite part. Okay. There's a built-in light in the handle. No way. I think it's kind of like a night light. Yeah. Huh. That is well done. If people complain about breast pumps a lot. They make women feel like they are cows. It's like the common yeah. thing. But to give some credit to these things, uh, they're relatively new. Our yeah. parents' generation. That's true. If you wanted to use a breast pump, you had to use this Victorian-style hand pump. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. And that design hadn't evolved since the 1800s, yeah. except you know it was made out of plastic now. Yeah, yeah. So this is a big leap. Uh, tear down. Oh. Yeah. Let's do it. So you were correct, there's a lot of empty space in there. So we've got uh, a suction pump. Yeah. 
and then a solenoid that's switching. So we've torn apart this entire thing. We have sort of a diagram on the table of all the key components. So from my side, <laughs> yeah. Well, we have the power leading in. It's going into the circuit board. Uh, on the bottom side, which you can't see here, are the switches. And we have this nice little display. Screen. Crystal, your favorite. The lights. The, the mood lighting. Yes. <laughs> They're is, so thoughtfully placed. Yeah. It's really nice. Kind of some, some yeah. upward facing lights. Really nice. And then we have the pumping system. Yep. So, so we've got power going into this incredibly massive DC motor. For comparison. Um, for comparison. Here's I think, a small one. Yeah, and little bits are a little bit smaller than that. So really powerful. Um, there's an asymmetrical shape and it looks like a little weight on the top that pushes like a piston this diaphragm back and forth. Actually, can we turn it back on? Yeah. There we go which then goes into this check valve that goes on the top. And then we were just talking about this. So this piece will pump the air in to this, and then the solenoid releases the air, which then is what moves this diaphragm in and out. Right. So we have this diaphragm, which is sealed in this little pocket here. And this vacuum draws this back. And then when that solenoid releases, it lets it return to atmosphere and come forward. And then this creates the suction against the breast. And then uh, fluid trickles down here and through this little check valve. And this prevents uh, the fluid from coming back into this diaphragm area. Huh. And the milk collects in this cup. And that's your Rube Goldberg machine. Boom. So many valves. Yay. So many valves. So many valves. Yeah. Good job, Spectra. Yeah, seriously. Now I want to make something with a massive DC motor and a pump. Yeah. Cool. This was fun. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. Good insights and, and good discussion. What do you think we should tear down cool. next? Not a Nerf gun. Not a Nerf gun? Okay. <laughs> But Ringley is pretty oh, interesting. Yeah. You should do a super They're tiny so wearable. Tiny. Yeah, yeah, they have um, the bracelet now and they have the ring and it has Bluetooth, a battery, a motor. Whoa, are they just doing like the die level part, like components on Honestly, there? I don't really know. Ringley? I don't really know. You're next. You're They're next. in New York too. Yeah? Yeah. We're gonna get you on here. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe down below that way. <laughs> leave some um, comments. Yeah, leave some comments. Yes. If you have an idea of what we should tear down next, yes. let us know. Cool. Bye. Bye.